Hello students. Today I am going to teach fraction class five. Okay, I am twin sir. Today I will explain fraction. All of you know that what sharing is caring, but how to share? Okay, from this thing now little bit we have to know about fraction. Okay, so first I am going to teach. About the definition of fraction. Okay, please. A fraction is a part of whole. A fraction is a part of whole. Okay, this part should be equal. This part should be equal. Okay. Now, when I have to write the example of a fraction, then take ones. How to write this one or how to read this one? Okay. Take ones. Three by four. Okay. In this tree, upper one is known as numerator. Upper one is known as numerator, and lower one is known as denominator. And in between, this bar is known as fraction bar, or we can say division bar. Okay. Now, check once. Say I want to write what one by four. Check once. One, two, three, four. Out of four, one part. So easily I can write one by four. Now say we want to write two by four. How to write two by four? Then check ones. See this one what? Two by four. Now here check ones. What is already there? Color portion only two, and all everyone equal parts. So easily we can write what? Two by eight. Okay, say here also I can write what this one check ones half a portion no that's why we can write what four by eight. Okay, now we will explain what types of fraction. The students check ones now. Now I am going to these types of fractions. Mainly there are. Three types of fractions. First one, proper fraction. Then improper fraction, and then mixed numerals or mixed fractions. Okay. Now check ones. Proper fraction. Here numerator is less than denominator. So lower one denominator we know. Upper one numerator. Here the numerator is less than denominator. Two by three, four by seven, two by eight. One by five, nine by twelve, etc. Everywhere our denominator is more than numerator. Now next one, improper fraction. Okay, in case of improper fraction, just what we have to check: numerator is greater than or equals to denominator. So numerator will be greater or equals to denominator. Then this type of fraction is known as improper fraction. Take one example, eleven by six. So numerator is greater than denominator, but here seven by seven. That means what? Numerator and denominator both are same. No, that means it is also under improper fraction. Now mixed fraction or mixed numeral or mixed number. Anything we can say. What is this? Okay, check once. Sum of the natural number and proper fraction will call mixed numerical. That means what? For example, what given here? Two one by two, or two whole one by two, one whole three by eight, one whole one by four. That means everywhere some natural number there. It indicates whole part, and one by two indicates what? Proper fraction. Always proper fraction and whole number, but will be there. Okay, so natural number included here with proper fraction. So three are already explained. Now I will explain like and unlike fractions. So like and unlike fractions. Now I am going to teach like fractions and unlike fractions. Okay, in like fractions, for fractions with the same denominators, 
are called like fractions. So maybe more than two or three or four fractions may be there, but their new denominators remain same. One by four, three by four, two by four, etc. Check one students. Everywhere denominator same. So this type of fraction is known as like fraction. So just opposite one, unlike fractions. In unlike fractions, different denominators are there. In unlike fractions, different denominators are there. Example: four by seven, two by three, seven by nine. So everywhere different, no? So in like fractions, denominators are same, and unlike fraction, numerators are same. No, check once. What? Denominators will not same. Forget about numerators. Forget about numerators. Always take ones denominators. Okay. Now I am going to teach next one. What? How to convert mixed numerators to improper fraction or in opposite way improper fraction to mixed numerators. Okay. Now we will convert. Mixed number two improper fraction. One example already given. Six whole two by nine. Six whole two by nine. We have to convert this one in improper fraction. Okay. So normally, what we will do? We will multiply what this whole part with denominator and we will add this numerator. Okay. In this way. We will convert this one mixed number to improper fraction, which will be here. Our answer will be 56 by 9. So process also I have mentioned. Process also I have mentioned here. Check once. Natural number into denominator. Natural number into denominator plus numerator plus numerator and upon denominator. Or by denominator, so denominator remains same. In numerator, what have to do? Natural number into denominator plus numerator. Now just opposite one. Improper fraction to mixed number or mixed numeral or we can say mixed fraction. How to convert this one? Okay. Our question what? Twenty-seven by four. Twenty-seven by four. We have to convert this one in mixed number. Mix number. How to convert? Check once. Quotient plus remainder by divisor. Quotient plus remainder by divisor. So simply we have to divide this one. Simply what have to do? We have to divide this one. Numerator will be there as dividend and divisor what? Four. Just divide this one. So four six are twenty four. Subtract this one. Then you will get three. So quotient, remainder, divisor. So in this way we have to write this one. So 27 by 4 we can write what? 6 whole, 3 by 4, 6 whole, 3 by 4. In this way we can write. Now I will explain how to convert in simplest form or reduce fraction. Conversion of fraction into its lowest term. Or we can say simplest form. How to do this one? Just keep dividing by common factors until the only common factor is one. So simply we have to reduce by reducing. We have to get the simplest form. Okay. Next one, little bit I will explain. Equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions. That means ultimate value remains same. Example: two by four. Equals to four by eight. Equals to six by twelve. Everywhere two into two four. Four into two eight. So with same number we have to multiply, or by dividing with same number we can get equivalent fractions. Okay, just I will request you to follow my class and this video also. Then uh, just online class also. You have to follow in a regular way. Okay, so thank you students. If you have any confusion you may contact with me and please check this one thank you